fine and good the world does not revolve around me even though it's not be bad if it does but step number yes, people type of betrayal that you feel is betrayal that you probably felt coming but you decided not to do anything about it because you're believing people to be who they are not girl you deserve a love that is good that is sweet oh of people that are supposed to be seasonal in your life then you can receive people that perhaps they are yet to stay hi welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be about like 25 life lessons i've learned or sort of also like 25 things i wish someone told me um because i turned 25 months ago um and last year actually and yeah it's been real <laughs> to think i'm at the point in my life where my frontal lobe is supposed to be fully developed um but yeah without further ado i'm just going to get into it because yeah these days are good if i do say so myself i have my list on my phone on my notes app so i'm just going to be reading number one is not being kind to yourself when you make mistakes is not a testament to your self-discipline. Yeah, let that sink in. If you're someone like me that you're an eye achiever, you just want to always get things done and get them done well, amazingly well. When you make mistakes, because we are bound to make mistakes, because most of what we're doing are things that we're doing for the first time. Like we're living life for the first time. We're a certain age now for the first time. We're not redoing this. There's no direct manual that is going to guide or tell you how life is going to go. So mistakes are bound to happen. We're supposed to embrace the failure and embrace all of it. So when you are consistently beating yourself up about making mistakes, about a natural path of the process, it is not a testament to your self-discipline. You need to relax. Relax, okay? Number two is you're doing life for the first time ever. Get over yourself. Literally what I just said, like, relax. <laughs> and this is something like i still tell myself to today because sometimes i just find myself also just functioning out of an anxious place or just like thinking oh my god i should have known better i should have known better when there is no way i could have known better yeah so the number three is stop looking outside for validation literally i'm sure you've come across a type of content on the internet that tells you that self-love everything starts from within everything starts from inside out and it is true and the sooner you accept that it is true and by accepting that start just doing the work towards making you someone you're proud of and someone you love the easier it would be for you number four is the world does not revolve around you but your world revolves around you okay i wish i can put that emoji of the world spinning around my head yeah because like okay fine and good the world does not revolve around me even though it's not be bad if it does but my world revolves around me so my rules go my boundaries stay everything i want in my life I try my best to get and to keep because this is my own life and it rolls around me i am the main character you need to take charge of your story like you are the main character every other person outside the world might not revolve but your own world is revolving around you <laughs> number five is bravery is learned some people just believe that they are not brave they are not confident they are not courageous and that's fine that's just how they are and all these things are learned so the reason why some people are there or some people have certain things that you don't is either because they were exposed to certain things in their childhood that make that made developing these skills easier for them or they've just seen life enough to have to uh, to have to develop that skill in order to move past the order that they are facing if you think you're not brave it's fine to accept that but it's always something you can learn it's always something you can work on like trust me bravery is learned and this is coming from me <laughs> number six is self-confidence is beauty um i feel like for people that have been following me since like i was in my university you would have seen the difference between funke then and funke now and that's just because over the years i've been taking the time to work on my self-confidence like there was a point that in my life that i would not post a selfie on instagram and look at me out here without makeup bare face you know 
self-confidence is something you can build and this is also something i'm just so passionate about because i know it's just so possible and i know the difference it makes in your life when you just when you just become a little bit more confident so it's definitely something you can build it's something i like to make videos on as we go on within this channel but you can also check youtube for other videos tiktok anywhere you like to consume content for practical steps that would help you with building your self-confidence because i tell you it greatly improves the quality of your life number seven is keeping your promises to yourself greatly improves your confidence more than anything else and this is something that i wish did not take me time to learn you know those those times that you say like okay you know that you're making a bad decision you know and you tell yourself okay i'm going to stop this okay i'm going to cut it out and then you never do that it's like you just keep telling your brain that okay i keep saying i want to do something but i never do it and then eventually you accept less of yourself so when you're in a situation where you're supposed to choose yourself and pick yourself sometimes you feel you would not trust yourself enough to be brave enough because over time you've not been sticking to the promises you've made to yourself the small small things and this is something that is always going to be hard because it's not everything sometimes we're not realistic with our expectations or with how we think we can let go of certain things so but i think this is something that's just important for you to know and just slowly slowly start building on it can be in the least little simple things you know drinking water today adding veggies to your food all of that number seven number hey, jesus number eight life does not have to be hard before you enjoy it I used to, I don't know if it's if it's because of what I used to consume, but I just used to or maybe it's just, that's just because that's how life is for a majority of people, having the period where you reap and then you sow. No, where you sow and then you reap. You have to put in a lot of work for you to, you know, start enjoying. And I used to have this mentality for so long. And I feel like this mentality kept me in places that maybe I should not have been or even kept me in situations that perhaps I could have figured a simpler way out but maybe I just believe that because it's hard yeah this is the journey this is this is it let's go you know not not everybody experience the same situation in different ways if it's going to be hard for everybody it can be soft for me it can be simple for me it can be easy for me amen amen <laughs> number nine is your friends will save your life not sure your friendships oh my god <laughs> my god my god see this i don't know i don't know what i would do without my friends like nah i love my friends so much like they are my soulmates for life and i don't even have like a lot of friends as much as i used to do anymore which is something i love i've decided to focus on quality quality sounds weird when i'm talking about human beings but like quality of just how the friendships affect my life and it's not like oh i'm, I'm cutting people off i'm just positioning people where they are you know friends acquaintances you know people i know of people you know just there but yeah like when pe when people say especially like women in their like late 20s 30s tell you that oh your friendship will save your friends will save your life yeah it's very true try your best to nurture your friendships and make sure you give your friends grace so they can also extend grace to you number 10 is half empty or half full you decide hmm. i don't know i don't think i need to give context on this i just feel like yeah you know when they always pour water in that cup oh for example like this bottle is it half empty or is it half full you decide there are times that even though it seems like it's half empty you just have to believe <laughs> believe that it's half full so you not lose your mind sometimes in deludo it's not a bad thing number 11 act according to the situation not what you expect or imagine it to be now this one so i'm said number 11 and i'm going to say number 12 and explain both of them together number 12 when people show you who they are the first time, believe them, not everyone has integrity. That thing of, oh, I have a bad feeling about this person. I don't like how they handle this situation. When you know that it's clear that they could have handled the situation in a much better way. Like you just know, you feel it in your soul that perhaps this person does not have my best interest at art. Perhaps we, we are two different people. 
but something because you're just so familiar and so used to them you just want to believe that they have integrity you want to believe you want to give them benefit of doubts because you, <laughs> you want to give them benefit of doubts because you are the one you are the one with the purest heart do you know the most painful type of the most painful types of mistakes you would make mistakes that you saw yourself getting into and the most painful type of betrayal that you feel is betrayal that you probably felt coming but you decided not to do anything about it because you're believing people to be who they are not you're not accepting them as they have showed you who they are or you have good intentions then you believe every other person has good intentions not everyone has integrity you need to be willing you need to be firm about protecting your heart and protecting yourself because once people deep that oh my god this person is soft this person is kind they want to come and just take advantage of that so you have to always not always be on guard but you have to be on guard number 13 take walks is good for your mental health oh my god like if it's going to be walks if it's going to be going to the gym if you're going to be skipping if you're going to be doing yoga any form of physical activity is going to be good for your mental health it can be 10 squats a day it can be 20 squats a day it can be anything five push-ups one push-up one pull-up whatever you can do just doing something that engages you physically every day consistently just makes you feel like you know you are really that babe if i can do this then maybe i can do something harder and this is one of the this one what is what i mean by bravery discipline all these things are things that you build and yeah by just doing something consistently you start feeling it but yeah do something that is good for your mental health and also impacts you physically Number 14, stop overthinking your creativity and just do. Doing is a muscle. Your doubts only go when you try. Yeah. And this is something that I am also still learning because, to be honest, it's um, crazy being a creative in this climate. I don't want to talk about capitalism, etc., etc., etc. It's surely like if you want to earn from something that you're also passionate about. So it feels like it. A bit of your soul is always with everything you create so sometimes the overthinking and the thoughts and all of that comes and then it just gets all too much but you have to just be the one to snap out of it and remind yourself of why you decided to start and just believe in your journey and believe in your path believe in your journey and as you keep going as you keep doing it, it's going to get better I can't compare this video I'm shooting with the first video I posted on YouTube. It has gotten better because I have kept doing it. You're not going to get better by just wishing and thinking. You're going to get better by doing. So just start. If you think you're going to start and it's not going to be great, then, okay, let it not be great. Then the 15th one you do, the 15th thing you create will be better than the first one. And it's progress anyways. It's time is going to go whether you do it or whether you don't do it. Jeez, I feel like I'm turning to a motivational speaker. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just really passionate about these things because it's also something I struggle with. And these are things that I always just want to hear as well when I am struggling. Number 15, you deserve a full deep love that makes your inside happy. Girl, you deserve a love that is good, that is sweet. That when you think about like you're having a bad day and you think about them and you're just happy because at least something is or someone is there for you and like <sighs> you know love is sweet for so you people that are in love I'm not hating but also this does not have to be a romantic type of love this can be love in friendships also I'm not I'm not one of those people that believe that one can replace the other. I believe if you desire both, you can have both and you should have both. However, if you're not in a romantic situation, the love from your friends would definitely, definitely sustain you. It's just different types of love. Um, but yeah, don't settle for love that you're not satisfied with. Like, what's the need? What's the need? Like, life is for the living. Look for love that sets your soul on fire. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I feel like love is, ugh, it just, anyways, mm, I'm a lover girl, so. Number 16, there will be prices to pay for choosing to live on your terms when it does not work with how society wants you to live, but it's fine because you're well equipped to survive and thrive. I'm going to read that again. 
there will be prizes to pay for choosing to live on your terms when it does not work with how society wants you to live. But it's fine because you are well equipped to survive and thrive. Now, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about, you know, how society wants us to live and all these boxes. I'm sure by now we know of some of them. And what I mean that we prices to pay is that if you choose to, for example, let's even say something as simple as me cutting my hair and a price to pay might be people, um, people categorizing me as a certain type of person just based off my haircuts. Well, I'm not that type of person. However, I am fine with it because with my haircuts, with however I choose to express myself with my body, I love it. It heals something in me. And that is what is going to equip me to thrive, regardless of what anybody wants to say, regardless of how it's perceived, you know, regardless of all of it. So yeah, it might be tough. I know I, I'm using an haircut as an example, you know, even actually when it comes to like sexuality you know accepting yourself your gender expression it can be tough but you can do this i really believe you can you know just be safe and just keep keep pushing for yourself keep pushing for yourself because your life is important you're an important person to be and you deserve to just be here and exist as wholly as as you can Number 17, never settle. Build the life you want brick by brick. Yeah, it's just like going back to number 16. It's, uh, you know, I, I, I have moments where I feel like I've just settled and I'm in my rest phase or I'm just in a phase where in this moment I can't do anything new or in this moment this is just what I need to do. However, when I'm out of a funk, I remember that I remember the life I want for myself and the life that is just calling me. And I'm just like, if I don't try everything in my power to get this life, if I've not exhausted all my options of trying, I don't think I would be happy with myself years from now. So I want to know that at least I try. And the good thing with life is that you might be trying to reach a target and while you're trying to reach that target you discover that hmm maybe this is not even the target i want to reach maybe this is something else and then that leads you to something else and it's that's just how life is like because i mean life should be experienced and all of that but yeah if you want to start something and you feel like you don't even know how you're going to get to the end results just start you don't know where starting is going to lead you to it might not be a straight line you might have to go zigzag zigzag so many times but eventually you're going to get somewhere so please try your best not to settle number 18 everything adds up eventually <laughs> this is the sum of healthy habits you make the sum of bad habits you make positive words you tell yourself negative words you tell yourself everything adds up immediately so be careful what you digest and what you allow to stay and what you allow to settle number 19 whatever you avoid is coming back in a circle I mean this when it comes to like life lessons in general and just like emotional maturity lessons. I just feel like life throws curveballs to us for us to learn certain things. And sometimes we're just talking our ways and we don't want to listen. And what I've realized is that those lessons will just keep coming in different ways <laughs> until we pick that up until you learn and you're able to move past that that's why some people are just it just feels like some people are in this cycle of these bad things consistently happening to them i'm not saying it's not it, i'm not saying like bad things are always your fault jeez no but i'm just saying like sometimes it's because like we've not learned what we're supposed to learn and we've not taken that that's why we're still making these mistakes like keeping us in this loop so yeah Number 20, it's time for people to stay in your life for a season. I'm someone that, you know, I love people. I love my friends. I love all of that. And I really used to struggle with letting people go. Um, but I've realized that with life, when you're closing your hands, you can't, you can't have more. But when you release, you can have more. When you let go of people that are supposed to be seasonal in your life, then you can receive people that perhaps are yet to stay. But yeah, if you keep holding on to bad things, no space for you to receive and because you're holding on you don't even know how good what you're what you what you can receive you don't know how good it can get so be open-minded to the fact that you will always meet better people you've not met all the people in your life that would love you 
Number 21, you have to do the extra work to get the extra results or even to get lucky. You know, because on social media, sometimes people just say, oh my God, I did this, da, 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 da. You don't really see the work that goes behind the scenes. You might believe that you're not lucky or, you know, you can have this amazing life with putting in the minimal work. It's quite all right. There are some people that are very, very, very lucky, but it's a very, very, very lucky few. If you want... A life that is out of the ordinary, you have to put in the work. Like, there is no escaping putting in the work. Number 22, not everything you desire is good for you. Self control is very important. Self discipline is very important. It's going to keep you safe and it's going to keep you sane. Number 23, gratitude is important. In this life, you always learn, you have to practice gratitude. You have to practice how to be grateful for yourself, for everything that is happening. This is one of the reasons why I journal because it's so easy to forget. Like you've over, you just overcame something and then there's another thing and then there's another thing and you've all forgotten that, oh, you were, what you were struggling with, you've, you've survived that. Uh, which is why when I journal and I just flip back to the pages of my previous journal entries, sometimes I'm cringing so bad. I'm like, oh my God, why was I spiraling on paper as if this was going to take my life and now i can't even remember because it's over yeah practice gratitude if not you would, might never be fully satisfied with what you're accomplishing in life because you're forgetting you have no idea how many good things that you've done that you're forgetting and number 25 which is the last one is reward yourself reward yourself for everything but it's nothing about me I'm going to buy myself something just because. Chocolates of when I now hit my milestones, I deserve. I <laughs> personally, I believe I deserve everything, everything nice and everything good in the world. So I would always indulge myself. Even when you get paid, it can just be a gift once a month. It can be you getting a spa day, you know, a massage, a book you've always wanted, a shoe just something because living and surviving every day is hard let me tell you so if you're if you accomplish something reward yourself wow we've come to the end of this video i really really enjoyed um doing this i feel like i can do another <laughs> video with just another set of things about lessons or things i wish um someone told me Leave a comment in the description. I'd like to know which lesson resonated with you the most. And I'll also love to learn from you. So please share a life lesson with me or something you wish someone told you. And yeah, thank you for watching this video up until this point. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Um, it's been nice having you here and I will catch you in my next video. Don't forget to keep being the bad girl that you are. Okay? <laughs> Bye, buddy. <laughs>